In today's episode, we'll learn some useful methods and concepts on pruning or trimming your plants the right way for better plant growth and boost flowering and fruiting. We'll look into useful topics like which season to prune, how to prune, types of pruning like hard and soft pruning, and lastly, which pruning tools to choose. All that's coming up. Pruning means cutting or trimming the plant organs like branches, stems or even leaves for the sake of your plant's health and sometimes to maintain plant shape and form. It's a very important task in gardening, especially if you want your plants to perform well like to promote a bushy growth and improve flowering and fruiting. Another advantage of pruning is it allows you to remove the damaged or infected branches and leaves which can further spread and cause more damage. In this episode, we'll briefly look into some questions about pruning like which season to perform pruning, types of pruning, how to prune and why, pruning tools and many important concepts and tips on pruning. Pruning your tree or cutting your tree branches is actually wounding your plant. It's actually a plant surgery similar to human or animal surgery done either to save a plant from disease and also to make it look neat and good. Like the surgical wound, pruning also induces a wound or injury at the point of incision and this wound has to heal properly. So, let's begin with when to prune and which plants. Let me start with a comparison. The best time to perform a surgery on a person is when they are in sleep, that is during anesthesia. This is the same for plants as well. As a general rule for most plants including flowering and fruiting plants, they need to be pruned, especially hard prunings to be done while they are in a period of dormancy, that is when they are asleep or inactive. This period usually falls in late winter through early spring, like in the month of January, depending on the climatic zone you live in. Another reason to perform this surgery in winter is, the healing of the wound is better in this cold season due to many scientific reasons. But some other plants need to be continuously pruned or trimmed. I mean deadheaded or soft pruned to maintain growth and flowering. We shall discuss what is hard pruning, soft pruning, deadheading etc shortly. Please watch this till the end. Also remember to disinfect the cutting tools before you start snipping your plants. You can wipe the blades with any household disinfectant or you can also use hydrogen peroxide 3% or 6% and this is easily available at your local medical store. Then secondly, the types of pruning for your house plants. Here we'll discuss on hard pruning, soft pruning, rejuvenation pruning, deadheading and many other useful topics. What is the difference between hard pruning and soft pruning? Hard pruning or annual pruning as I discussed earlier is done in the dormant or inactive growth period of a plant during the late winter or early spring. In hard pruning we cut off most of the plant stems and branches, at least 50% to promote all new productive plant growth in the growing season, whereas soft pruning can be performed any time of the year. Here we just trim the plant to one third to half. The best example is periodic pruning or trimming of a rose bush. This also includes deadheading. Deadheading means removal of a dead or dried flower or a twig from a plant which has just flowered. Sometimes it has to be a constant process and this diverts the plant energy into a new growth and more flowering rather than drying up and consuming this energy into seed formation process. Thirdly, how to prune and the types of pruning cuts. We learn two important cuts here, heading and thinning cuts which can make your plant more bushy and increase flowering and fruiting. Heading is the process of cutting or trimming branch tips. The cut is made anywhere on the branch or stem just half an inch above a node where it produces multiple branches, usually two branches from a node and this process makes your plant more bushy in the long run. One very important tip here is the cut is to be made at an angle of 45 degrees to allow the water to run off because if flat cut is made, water can stay on the top of the wound which can increase the chances of fungal or bacterial infection. It's also a good idea to seal the wound with some stuff like wax or an antifungal powder or anything. Even some recommend 
fevicol paste. But if you can buy a tree paint or any commercially available pruning sealer, that's still better. Some experts say it's better to leave it open and let the plant heal itself, especially for larger trees. Well, thinning. This is the process of removing entire branches from a main stem by making a cut at its collar or just outside of the collar. Collar is the area where the branch connects with its main stem. Thinning helps sunlight to penetrate to the interior foliage and promotes good air circulation and thus avoids fungus and bacterial growth. If you're not sure how to and when to prune a particular plant, I still suggest you to at least perform soft pruning at least once in its growth cycle. Now, the next topic is on choosing the right pruning tools. You can watch that episode from this end screen link circled right here. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!